A new government report acknowledges the United States took thousands of native children from their parents from 1819 to 1969. And it acknowledges the policy was meant to strip them of their culture and ultimately take tribal lands. Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth joins us in studio this afternoon with a look at how it impacted Utah families. Max. Yeah, Bob, you know, the schools in this report ran the gamut. Some were military in style, some religious. There wasn't a formal system to monitor them. They could have a thousand students or a dozen. But what they had in common was they all housed students away from their parents and they received federal money. It's still living inside of our communities today uh, because the atrocious things that took place. The boarding school experience lives in Tamara Borchert Slayton's family in her Havasupai grandmother. At the age of three, she was taken from her mother and put in the Phoenix boarding school. So from the age of three until the age of 18, that's where she lived. Borchart Slayton is the chairperson of the Indian Peaks Band of the Paiute Tribe of Utah. The Paiutes experienced what the federal government acknowledges in this report. It says the United States operated or supported 408 boarding schools across 37 states or then territories. It says this report confirms that the United States directly targeted American Indian, Alaska Native, and Native Hawaiian children in pursuit of a policy of cultural assimilation assimilation that coincided with Indian territorial dispossession. And it says they identified at least 53 burial sites for children with more site discoveries expected. It lists seven boarding schools in Utah, the biggest in Brigham City, the Intermountain Indian School, which closed in 1984. For the Paiutes, the school that opened in St. George and moved to Panguitch lasted about eight years, long enough to hurt the tribe in the worst way taking their children. Essentially, they stole these children and they didn't allow them to practice who they are. So their identity, culture, language, and their religion. There are records of a cemetery with a dozen or more students possibly buried there. Borchardt Slayton's grandmother survived her boarding school experience and relearned her first language as an adult. When I talk about my grandma's experience, I always talk about how she was raised by an institution. She wasn't raised by a loving nuclear family. Mm. So it's a it's foreign to her. It's something that they have to relearn. Did she talk to you about that? She uh she doesn't always necessarily like to talk about it um, because yeah. it was traumatic. Utah State University runs a research farm on what was the campus of the Panguitch School. Their archaeology department is working with the tribe to discover what happened to the children there from 1904 to 1909. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.